Hi everybody, this is Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. And a lot of you might be wondering what we do with the gravel when we take it home. Um, you're allowed to bring a five gallon bucket full of gravel that's washed home from the mine per person per day. So when we bring the gravel home, you have to be able to look through it and it's best if you've got it against something that's not very reflective. So what we'll do today is build a sorting tray. And what I'm gonna start with is uh, about a half sheet of plywood. And then I've got a couple of boards that we'll put around the edges for barriers and some spray paint that we can use that is a flat black. So it should not have very much reflection to it. So if there's anything in the dried gravel that has a little bit more shine than the rest of it, we should be able to see it. It should stick out in the sunlight for sure. So uh, I'm going to get started. First thing we're going to do is spray paint the plywood with the paint get a real good coating on it and let it dry. Well it looks like our paint has dried so I'm going to cut out a piece of plywood and then I will attach the side rails to the piece that I cut out and if I can get it done quick enough before it gets dark I've brought some gravel and I'll pour some gravel in there and we'll see how it looks. Okay well you can kind of see the layout of what we're going to do here and I haven't nailed these down yet, but what I will do is cut my plywood piece out and attach the boards to it. And you can see I've left a small part right here where I can actually let the gravel out when I'm done looking at it. I can just kind of tip it sideways and let the gravel work its way out as I look for the shinier stuff. I've got it cut out and I have the boards attached to the plywood. But one thing I noticed is they're not flush on the bottom. Plywood was a little bit warped. So what I'm going to do is take some either silicone or some kind of glue and I'm going to line the inside of the board all the way around so nothing can slip under it. But other than that, I think it's going to work pretty good. Okay, I think our uh, sorting tray is finished now. I've got the sides sealed up. The paint is all dry, and I'm out here in the sunshine, so I've poured a little bit of dried gravel in here, and we'll get a little bit of a closer look, but you can see this makes it very easy for me just to work the gravel across the dark surface and look for anything that has a metallic shine. As I work it across the board, I can empty it into this bucket. You don't want to put a whole lot of gravel on here because it's not perfectly solid. But with one five gallon bucket and a three gallon bucket, it puts a little bit of an angle at it so it's easy to work the gravel through and into the next bucket. Okay, so I've brought a couple of small diamonds with me that we can put in the gravel. You can see there, there's a yellow and a white. And these uh, are pretty close to 10 points a piece. So if you actually look in the gravel, from my perspective, I can see the metallic shine. So they are right in the middle of that circle. I'm not sure if you can make that out. See that there is one right there and the other one right there. The reason we dry the gravel is so that the diamonds are what remain shiny and most all the other minerals that are in this gravel will become more dull as they dry. So 
back in here they go. Okay, so I've gone through a little bit more gravel, still haven't found anything, and the sun is getting kind of low, so I'm probably going to call it good as soon as I'm done with this small pile. Um, the main thing is, you really need to have some good light, you need to have something that's really dark behind it, without any shine to it, and as you're going through it, you need to go pretty slow and spread it pretty thin so you can actually see all the individual little pebbles and stuff should be able to pick up the shine if there is a diamond in there.